This is the Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for Monday of the Holy Week. Thanks for joining today's Mass Readings and Reflections. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and family. Today's first reading is from Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 7 and Gospel reading is from John chapter 12 verses 1 to 11. First reading, a reading from the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verses 1 to 7. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not fail or be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the islands wait for his law. This says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread for the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a lie to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Your response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Your response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. Your response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. Your response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Your response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Gospel Acclamation Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. There they made him a supper. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Judas Coriath, one of his disciples, he who was to betray him, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. Jesus said, let her alone, let her keep it for the day of my burial. The poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came, not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we are in the Holy Week. These days we will read in the Gospels about the last days of Jesus. In today's Gospel we see, Jesus and his disciples are invited to have dinner in the house of Lazarus, a celebration to share the joy of returning Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus was there with Jesus. Martha served Jesus and Mary anointed Jesus' feet with costly oil. In the Synoptic Gospels we read about these two sisters. One is, as usual, serving Jesus, and the other sits at the feet of Jesus and listens to him. John speaks about the anointing of Jesus' feet with costly oil. She shares her love and thankfulness to Jesus with that gesture. What Lazarus is doing at this time? Evangelists did not give any clue in the Gospel. Lazarus' character is one of such characters who never talk in the Gospel. Their presence itself makes others share the love of God. Here Lazarus is a living witness to the people to show the power of Jesus. Gospel says, On account of him, 
many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. His silent presence is the greatest testimony to Jesus. The words of Jesus, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he dies, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die, fulfilled in him. He is a prefigurement of all those who will live for eternity with Jesus. As Lazarus is sharing the table with Jesus, one who believes will share the heavenly banquet with Jesus. Another character we see here is Judas, a little show off from the part of the disciple. John wrote here, he was a thief, a thief in the list of disciples. Did Jesus made a mistake by making him an apostle? Over to that, giving him the money purse, the job of administrator among the disciples. But I would like to make the point, even though Jesus knew him very well, he gave a chance to Judas. Jesus came to call the sinners and he wished that if Judas repents and come back. So Jesus gave him chances after chances, but, but his greed for money led him to destruction. This is a warning for us as well. Jesus wants our conversion and he waits for us. Change of heart is the only option to be saved. Our persistent sin will lead us away from Jesus. Today's gospel shares many ideas with us. It is an invitation for us to change our hearts. Jesus invites us to convert our hearts, come back from the tombs of our past life and dine with him at the table of eternity. Let us make use of this holy week to change our hearts and follow him wholeheartedly. May God bless you all.